Hey guys, Jimmy again. Today I'm going to do a video of my doctor's bag from Saddleback Leather. This is the uh, second video I've done. First one was an unboxing and uh, it was quite done a long time ago. So I uh, thought I'd do an upload, an update on the bag. Um, when these first came out, and I think it was 2017, I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, you're probably gonna correct me. But anyways, um, they had a limited selection of the tobacco uh, when they came out. They, they think they had only like 10 of them in stock. Um, this is one of the first 10 that they produced. Um, lucky, because uh, I, mean, I was waiting exactly at, I think it's like 10 p.m. Eastern time or uh, anyways but um just showed up and uh fell in love with it it's nice it's a good weekender bag uh like uh, like all the stuff that i have i uh i use it a lot and uh i'm not afraid to tell you what i like about it what i dislike about it so uh i love the leather on this it's nice it's what they call velvety tobacco or the Saddleback calls it uh, roughed up tobacco. Um, I'm not a big fan of the, the handles flopping around so I kind of block one down underneath the strap and I just carry it like this one handed. You guys can see that. Um, yeah, lots of ums. Anyways, I carry it a bit. I also uh, tuck the handles down if you can see, not the handles, but the straps. They have another set of straps that go up through here, through here, and buckle in. I don't use those, so I just keep them. I don't know if you can see that or not. I just keep them in there. Pretty cool. I wrap them around the bottom. But uh, after using this bag for a while, I had an issue of the top not staying closed. Or not staying open, sorry. Not staying open. It would, it would kind of close like this. Um, so what I did... As I hung it open from the hinges for about a month, and that that seemed to work. Um, but then again, the more you use it, the better it's going to be. I just have junk in here, like some paper and some bags. Got the uh, pigskin liner uh, down the front, bottom, and the back, not on the sides. Has a pocket right here. It's a nice bag. It's a nice weekend bag. I carry it for work. Um, put bottles. I put like a. I have a big Yeti, 86 ounce, that I take to work with me for water, stuff like this. This bag, uh, you know, it's all closed up, and I carry it. This is probably one of the the nicest carrying bags that I have. As in, I forget how I did this now. Anyways. It, it fits great on the side of the hip as you're as you're carrying it because the different attachment points you got one here in the back this side it's here in the front so it rests real nice on the hip lots of compliments with this bag uh, it's one of it's one of the nicest bits of uh, tobacco that I have it's made with the newer uh, logo version of tobacco Size-wise, you're looking about 18 inches. Depends on how much you got in there. 11 inches high, maybe. So, anyways, yeah. Short little video. Also, what's nice about this roughed up leather is that since it has a, a suede feel, almost a nap feel to it, it stays set on your shoulder pretty well. It doesn't slide off like the older, the older tobacco and the chestnut and the dark coffee brown does uh, it grips to your shoulder so it stays put when you put it on your shoulders but yeah just a, a short video update on it anyways thanks for watching thanks for your likes your subscriptions if I can do this you can do this